Hey everyone, it's SK from Topless Productions and I'm traveling around with my furry companion to bring the good news from village to village and from settlement to settlement. So let's see what we got. Resources are one of the most important ingredients in keeping your village happy and making it grow. They are the starting block to many new items. Soon there will be more resources for you to manage and collect. Uh, with the next update, we are introducing copper, tin and also bronze. And these three resources come with a whole new set of tools and activities for you to discover and manage. As with most metals, it all starts in the mountains. So you will be able to dig for copper and also for tin. Bringing those deposits to your smithy will allow you to create bronze. However, you can take your mining operations even further. Building mines inside mountain caves will uncover deeper caves that host iron deposits. With iron at your disposal, you will be able to manufacture a lot more valuable goods. You will be able to dig those deposits yourself or allocate your villagers to the task where you can concentrate on more important duties. Once you dig up those deposits, you can bring them to your village's blacksmith. And thanks to the new equipment, they will be able to smelt those raw ores into tin, copper, bronze and also iron bars. You will be able to use those bars and create a whole set of new weapons and tools. As always, as the village leader, it is up to you what to do with these resources. You can sell them in their final form or at any time along the production cycle. Or you just can keep them for yourself and your people. It's all up to you which way you will decide to go. Finally, we want to reveal your next mode of transportation. The trusty and sturdy donkey. This little four-legged companion may not be as fast as a horse, but he is able to carry a lot more on his back than his larger cousin. He could be the perfect animal to carry all those new goods. And on top of that, we are adding a whole bunch of fixes and polishes to the game. And as always, thank you heaps for all your support so far. You are the best community a developer could ever ask for. And hands down, thanks to you, the game is getting better and better. So. Until the next time, tribe leaders, see ya, peace and bye bye.